Hey guys, LG have officially announced the G-Flex. It's a 6-inch curved OLED smartphone that right now is only going to be released in South Korea. And we are seeing more and more curved smartphones. We, thought, we saw the Samsung Galaxy Round. This is a little bit different. The Samsung Galaxy Round was curved on a vertical axis, so a bit like this. This is curved on a horizontal axis. And in my opinion, I just prefer the look of this. I think it's going to be a little bit more useful than the curve in the Galaxy Round. Now, why? Because, well, I think you hold a phone normally and it is kind of your face is curved, so it kind of fit around your face, especially being six inches as well. And what I will say is it may feel a little bit weird in your jeans pocket, depending on exactly how big this curve is, because the curve w won't really go with your leg. So that is something to take into account. And yeah, just like the Samsung Galaxy Round, LG are tailoring the software to this. Now, I've got nothing to actually show you right now, but I did hear they are tailoring some software features to take advantage of this curve. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out another picture. So you can see from the side on view here that it's not quite as curved as that initial picture kind of describes, but it is still a significant curve, especially being a six inch smartphone as well. I've got to say, I do really like the design of this. LG are really pulling out some nice smartphones, especially like the LG G2 and stuff like that. So they're doing a really good job here. I'm not not completely sold on curved smartphones we'll have to see I really need one in my hand to actually feel it but yeah let's go ahead and check out the specs okay so you can see we've got the Snapdragon 800 here clocked at 2.26 gigahertz of course accompanied by the Adreno 330 GPU the display as we know is a whopping six inches but it comes with a resolution of 1280 by 720 and on a six inch display that puts the pixel density at around 244 which isn't exactly crazy low but it's not very high either now on a six inch display I really would have preferred a 1080p resolution that just would have looked a lot better so that's a little bit disappointing there you can see the technology used is curved P OLED and real RGB that's kind of a big deal because not many displays are real RGB memory we've got two gigabytes cameras 13 megapixel rear 2.1 megapixel front I'm not sure if this camera comes with OIS optical image stabilization I'm not sure the battery is a massive 3,500 milliamp hours, and that's a, that's a massive battery, but let's not forget this is a big phone with a six inch display. You can see the dimensions here if this interests you. One thing I'm a little bit confused about is the operating system. Now, obviously it's Android, but you can see it's Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Why would they release it with 4.2.2? Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be updated straight away, but 4.2.2 is pretty old. We're on Android 4.3 right now, and we're about to be on Android 4.4, so it, it would be a little bit disappointing if it was released with 4.2.2 straight off the bat. Nonetheless, let's move on. The weight is 177 grams. Of course, it comes with LTE, Bluetooth 4.0, and all that other stuff. So the specs are pretty impressive. You know, it has a very strong CPU, very strong GPU, a good amount of RAM, good cameras as well. A little bit disappointed by the screen resolution, but it's curved, so everything's cool, right? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I like the look of this a lot more than the Samsung Galaxy Round. It's a shame it's only being released in South Korea right now, but hopefully it gets released to the rest of the world at some point. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out.